Hello, my friends. It's August 28th, and we're going to talk about what happened on this day in history. We talk about the Cold War and its connection to modern day, but to do that, sometimes we expand beyond the Cold War or just beyond Cold War events to help us get some context. So in 1924, there was the Georgia Uprising, at the very beginning of the Georgia Uprising. It started on the 28th accidentally, and then it expanded for the next few days, and it was brutally repressed after that. So what really happened was on August 18th, there was a plan for a general revolt against the Soviet Union. The people of Georgia who had their independence wanted their independence back. So in a mining town of Chitura in western Georgia, they inadvertently got their signals crossed and started the revolt a day earlier. It was supposed to be a coordinated uh, revolt, and they started the day before they were supposed to. And they actually met with some early success. It was surprising, but it also put the Soviets on notice. They could activate their forces, and they were able to put it down. The uprising was only temporary, although there was a government formed under Prince Georgi Tesretli, uh, but again, it was only temporary. The goal was to restore this independent Georgia from the Soviet Union, and this has been the goal of many of these independent nations that the Soviet Union had swallowed up over time who wanted their independence back. The long story short, the Soviets won and it led to severe reprisals. That was the last uprising in that early phase of the Soviet Union. On August 28th in 1963 was Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. And, and I've watched the whole speech. So it was interesting because the speech wasn't going that well. It's late in the day. It's hot. Martin Luther King Jr. just isn't like hitting his high notes. And as he's droning on a bit, Michaelia Jackson says, tell him about the dream, Martin. And he goes into the, I have a dream. Like he's apparently given that speech before and it really sang. It, he was hitting all of his high notes with that and it went down in history. Now to put that in context of where we are, this wasn't, um, Cold War, but this is where the U.S. is. And uh, one year later in 1964, on the same day, there's race riots in Philadelphia. Now, I tell you that to tell you this, if this was modern day, the Russians would be using social media trolls to amplify all the animosity between whites and blacks on social media. And this is called active measures, and they've been doing this for some time now. They don't tend to try to start new controversies, but they amplify whatever fissures exist in other societies. Okay. I also thought this was interesting. In 1964, the U.S. performed a nuclear test in Nevada, and then the Russians performed nuclear tests on this day in 1972 in Nova Zamela, and then they performed underground nuclear tests in 1973, 1982, and 1984. It's amazing how many nuclear tests they actually were performing. All right, my friends, that's all that I have for you on August 28th. Thank you for your time, and thank you for being the kind of person who cares about the world that we live in.